Well, listening to that and joining me now is Georgia Gilhooly, and she's the associate contributor for Young Voices. That's a network which helps aspiring intellectuals develop their skills through their programs and mentorships. Hi, Georgia. Hi, it's nice to be here. Thank you for joining us. What did you think of this report and uh, and what Professor Bobby Duffy had to say? So when I was reading the article earlier, I, to be honest, I found a lot to agree with in the article. Um, I think that the whole generation war canard, if you could say, has been grossly over-exaggerated over the past week. Um, And I think that that's because it's simply not, it's not really the issue, is it? You know, the Tories promised in the election manifesto that they would not, you know, be increasing income tax and also that they would not be um, threatening the triple lock on pensions. They've broke both of those promises, one mainly affecting young people, one mainly affecting older people. Mm. It's not really about, oh, these, you know, nasty old people want to hoard their wealth. Okay, of course there are people like that in all age groups, unfortunately. But this is an issue, you know, the government broke their promise. It's it's It wasn't, you know, some old granny around the corner trying to keep you know, her savings account or something. That's not the issue here. It's the government. And, you know, you're somebody who works with a platform which, you know, is is trying to promote younger um, voices. Why why do you think that, and I suppose it applies to the media as well as politicians, why do you think people are so keen to try and create this narrative where the younger are just like raging against older people when clearly that's not what you feel? I mean, I've met lots of other young people that feel the same as well. I think, I mean, possibly it's because it's an easier thing to talk about than other issues that say religion, ethnicity, class. Um, Though obviously when we're talking about a tax increase, there's obviously a class element in the discussion because, you know, older people who've accumulated wealth have more money. That means, I suppose, by default, they're of a higher quote unquote class, though class is obviously a very complex issue. Um, So I think it's quite, it's easier to sort of, you know, fire off an op-ed about that or or complain about that on um, the morning papers or whatever than it is to discuss the more complex issues. And also to, I guess, stick your head out of the parapet and hold the government to account. Because ultimately, I've seen a lot of, I have seen a lot of young people um, angry about this in general this week, not necessarily in regards to older people, um, but in terms of the government. But then knowing some of these people, I know that they will then vote for the Conservatives at the next election. So Mm. you have to get to a point when you think, whether you're right wing, left wing, whatever, are you really willing to perpetuate that when you're saying that it's destroying your ability to create a livelihood to the same standard that your grandparents and parents have? So I think it's a, a systemic change needs to happen. And while raving about this issue, of course, there is a grain of truth, you know, old people and younger people will always butt heads on certain things. And there are, of course, you know, older people who that say they might have a state pension that they don't need because they're a millionaire, whatever. Um, but I think there's a systemic change that needs to happen. And just raving about this, it's not going to solve the problem. Yeah, really interesting stuff there. Thank you so much uh, for joining us. That's Georgia Gilhooly, Associate Contributor for Young Voices. Well, it's just... 